Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks to another open with me. These seem like a long, few, few and far between these days. And I guess it's because I'm limiting myself with the magazines that I'm doing. I've subscribed to three and um, I've not been buying them in between because they do set me back rather a lot of money. And um, well, I guess I'm economising and um, <clears throat> finally <laughs> not wasting money on um, ones that I could subscribe and get cheaper. So anyway, while I get in, because this isn't always an easy feat, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Now this one feels quite fat, like there's quite a lot of things in it. And I probably did say, oh, in the next issue is this, but I always forget. So straight off, we've got our magazine. Um, we've got some kind of, I'm going to put my finger over that, simprove.com. I don't know what that is, but trust pilot seem to like them. Um, daily essentials, five billions of, oh, hang on, it contains billions of live and active bacteria that reach your gut alive. Okay, I'll have a look at that later. Oh, what we got here. So this is a hook stand now i do have rather a lot of hook stands you remember some time ago when um sarah jane was involved in um the uh oh crochet society that's the thing bella coco is not part of it anymore but at the time it was called bella coco's crochet um simply doodah thingy me you know what i'm trying to say so anyway, I had two in that six-month period that I subscribed to review it. I had two of these alone. So this one could find its way into one of my orders, unless I decide to use it somewhere. But um, it could possibly find its way in someone's order and winging its way to you, because it is they are quite handy, actually. Like I say, I've got... I might even have three of the things. <laughs> so we've got patterns and puzzles. So... This makes me, you know, kind of wonder if they don't watch my reviews. The reason I'm saying that is because as soon as I started to say, I really like this knitting magazine because it's got puzzles in it and it gives you that kind of puzzle, uh, proper magazine vibe. Like it's a magazine for where well, you used to read them and you'd, you know, get involved in the chat along and read a couple of articles. And then you get your puzzles. I've been saying that. And now they're appearing everywhere. So it does make me wonder if they don't kind of have someone watching out for those. Anyway, um, patterns and puzzles. We'll have a look at that at the end. <clears throat> so here we go. The latest Simply Crochet has best yarn for blankets revealed. Well, that's all of them, really. I can reveal it now. Summer Lace Bunting. We've got Here Comes the Sun in a Sunflower, 87 patterns and ideas. That's rather a lot. We've got Flower Power, so we've got bags and a mandala. Um, wear with Pride, must be getting up towards Pride. So we've got a rainbow party kind of brooch. Uh, Hello Summer, well, it's around somewhere. We've got flip-flops, which I still have flip-flops to make and I haven't done. And we've got a kind of a, I won't say bikini, but you know what I mean. We've got a cute elephant toy, a mohair cardigan, a gingham blanket, one skein shawl, and much more. So, let's have a look then and see what's inside. Well, there we go. This is what it looks like. Um, so, it just shows you, there's an illustration there that shows you can put your thin hooks and your fat hooks in place for both so obviously there's a front tier that that will go all the way along I don't know if it means you've got to put yeah see really tiny sizes would be more beneficial just saying if all the holes were the same size along there because not all of us want to use these diddy little hooks and we might have several medium size hooks so just like these are all the same size I think that would have been better if they were all the same size you know just saying anyway moving on We've got a nice tank top to put, to make. Um, <clears throat> we've got a kind of a, a lantern looking blanket. We've got a hat. Oh, that's very um, 
different, isn't it? Got a little turn up. Funny enough, my bucket hat did that, and I didn't even try. <laughs> didn't even try to make it do it. We got a cowl. We got a shawl. Um, we've got a little yarn pack from Sheep Ears. If you want to subscribe, we've got that is a wool decoration. Get it myself. I think I'll never mind. Um, placemat I'd have made or something to put your fruit bowl on, but I wouldn't put it on the wall. Never mind. It's each to our own. We've got a Nelly and another Cardi. And a blanket, that's their crochet along. These are the pride badges, and we've got a pridey ba a bag, even. <clears throat> Just bags and things and stuff. Uh, what's that? Is it mm, a book? Um, in our new publication, Just Bags, Things and Stuff. Okay, so there you go. That's by Rico. We've got, this is what's hooked, find your happy place. So these are ideas, inspiration, accessories, websites, events and stuff. Wouldn't it be weird if I turned over one day and found my website? But I don't think I will somehow. I think I'd know about it ahead of time. If you haven't found my website, it's hobbyrocks.co.uk. There's lots of special offers and also voucher codes. Underneath this video, you'll find a link to the shop and a couple of voucher codes. One for a new um if you've never ordered before and one existing so books then what we got this is crochet southwest spirit by susan kennedy 16 pounds 99 crochet ragdoll uh friends by sasha blaze van wagon donk wagon donk probably Sorry, that took me by surprise, that name. I'm childish. I don't pretend I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. <clears throat> I am. <clears throat> Seriously. All new. Uh, 20 things to make. 20 to make granny squares to crochet. I hate the fact that they use this colour on pink. Especially looking at it through a camera. There's not a chance I'm going to read it. Um, anyway, that's £6.99. £6.99. Whoa, that's quite cheap. And, uh, you know, I've seen books where you get 20 granny squares and it'll be like £16. So unless that's a misprint, that's not too bad at all. Mosaic Knitting Workshop, Ashley Wemp, Wemp, uh, 16.99. So that's Mosaic Knitting Workshop. Why is it there? Do you reckon? Yep, yeah. look, here we go. Crochet. You've right, you've tried crochet, but what about mosaic knitting? Well, there's a difference, isn't it? Okay, so that's the book. So I'm not going to go into the rest of the stuff because it just seems like teaching granny to suck eggs, but never mind. So we've got some granny square little things for skirts and tops for kids. We're very fashionable at the moment, us crocheters. Um, small but mighty, that's that little tiny bits and bobs of yarn. Always find them a bit overpriced for tiny amounts. Just my opinion for what it's worth we've got events we have 16th to the 18th of june uh mill open weekend in south molton and there's a website we've got the 17th of june make a wall hanger using intarsia won't be rushing out to that one we all know how i feel about wall hangings um 23rd of june brom Broomstick Crochet a Workshop in Cheshire. 24th to 25th June, Cumbrian Wool Gathering. Well, in Cumbria, but that's my son's birthday, so I won't be going there. Um, 8th to the 9th of July, Carry On Crafting Festival in Ardingly. And although it says Ardingly, it's pronounced Ardingly. I did, I did tell you guys across the prawn that we did have really weird ways of kind of spelling stuff there you go we do five fab finds um these are just uh pattern downloads you have to pay for them um well they're all a bit small we'll move on they just pay for things we don't want that do we know no okay so this is the waterside wonderland imagine spending a long day in the sun on this sturdy yet beautiful blanket Roll it out for sunbathing, picnics, 
Um, and of course, a bit of outdoor crochet beside the ocean waves. Well, just because it says that it's a beach one, doesn't mean that you're not going to get it sandy, does it? But there you go. Anyway, that will be in here. We've got a very basic bag, seriously basic bag. And we've got a necklace with shells dangling off it and a beach babe crochet bikini. Hmm, going to get a weird tan with that, aren't you? All I'm saying. We've got this odd hat and we've got some flippy flops, which, um, yeah, I still need to make them. Got all the blanks ready and I haven't done it yet. And I do have this type of yarn for hats. Moving on. But I haven't done it yet. So that's at the how to do's. That's all of that. So what we got shows you that the top goes right up to a 28 to 30 size from an 8 to 10. That's So it goes up quite a large size. Okay. Blockstar. This is Get Your Zigzag On with Lauren Willis Funky Summer Vest. That's quite nice. I like that. I'd have to put sleeves in it because my arms don't resemble hers. My arms, well, if I put two of hers together, still wouldn't resemble mine. Moving on. Anyway, it goes from a small to a 4XL. Very nice. I like it a lot. Okay, so that's just an advert. This is the sunny side up. No green fingers required. Only clever crafty ones because you can make this cute little sunflower. Um, more adverts and the subscribe and you get the sheepies bundle of these diddy diddy yarns okay moving on Catherine's journal from the studio don't ever read that I have to say because I thought that was a leg of lamb <laughs> I need to go to spec savers girls anyway wear with pride this June show your support for all sexualities and genders with Paul Paula, <laughs> sorry, that just seems so apt. <clears throat> Paula Green's Rainbow Hearts badge. Sorry, I told you I was childish. Anyway, on Cloud Nine is this kind of cardigan, midriffy type crop style with baggy sleeves. No shaping required. Elephant Astic. This is the little Nelly elephant. That's quite cute, although ears do seem a bit hexagonal for my liking. But they do have funny little bobbles on. So this is in the trunk. Oh, I'm not going to tell you what that trunk reminds me of because I'm too much of a lady. Moving on. Looking for a good yarn? Visit your website www.hobbyrocks.com Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, stitched st strong. Stitched strong. After a devastating diagnosis, Sandra Torrance of Little Golden Nook discovered a passion for crochet design thanks to her family support, her faith and her own inner strength. Wow. I might have to read that later, you never know. Hip to be square. Now that reminds me of a Huey Lewis song. And um, I'm going to be singing it all day now. Large and small size options. Well, I should imagine any size options with this one. Because obviously it's squarey. Just saying. Make it large, medium. Try three issues for six pounds of love embroidery. Very tempted to get that and review it, but I don't know how many of you might embroider. Keep it light, hook to hook. So this is where the two designers come up with a design, they get the same yarn and they have to come up with something. So we've got this kind of hexagon style honeycomb, I'd like to call it, um, cow or a little shawl. And one's Joanne Fowler and the other's Hannah Barber. Barker, Ek. I don't know. I don't even think I can read anymore. Golden Moments Blanket. Now, this is nice. Don't get me wrong. It's very busy. Very, very busy. And I like the fact that it's got words in it as well. But, you know, wow. A lot of work. 
This is this square and this one in this particular issue. It's quite snazzy. Um, what's this all about? Bodycon Bonanza. Handmade can be bold and youthful too. As the temperature rises, so does the popularity of form fitting on trend crochet outfits. Let's meet the makers. So that's pretty snazzy, but I have to say, I keep hearing about this, how the temperatures are gonna soar and the weather's gonna be crazy. I was cold today, just saying. Okay, so this is called the Circle of Life and I don't know why that would be. It's just a name, I guess. But um, a great stash buster. I think it'd make a nice table mat, but you know me. I hate wall hangings. And there's another one, but that's bunting, slightly different. And this is Al Fresco for motif patterns to make. So we've got, looks like a toadstool or a, you know, um, mushroom, that's the word I'm looking for. We've got flowers, granny squares. They're all just sewn on though. So they are just granny squares with a few motifs sewn on, I think. That's what we can um, assume anyway. So that's that one. It doesn't reinvent the wheel though, does it? But then do we need to? Um, Brent Fox Yarns. Meet an indie dyer and indulge in a design with their skeins. Okay. Lace and Grace. This is quite lacy bunting. I guess this is their skeins. This is made with a four-ply yarn, which across the pond is a sport weight. And it's kind of a, a dreamy, lacy bunting, which is quite nice, actually. You know, not really a wall-hanging bunting type, but there you go. I've made bunting and made rainbow during lockdown. So B is for blankets, and these are all the yarns that they're saying. Great for blankets, but you know what so is most yarn? Most yarn, great for blankets. Karen Simply Soft, I do stock that. Um, Emu, fun fair swirl. Gotta say, very disappointed with Emu. Um, Emu is a brand that I used when I was a child and when it came back um, and it was resurrected, I bought some and all it did was split and I was so, so disappointed with that. I've not tried Yarn Smith Create. I've tried Bellissimo, it's what I'm making my new blanket with. Signet Baby Colour Soft is lovely and King Cole, I sell lots of King Cole, I've never heard of Prize and I'm not phasing them out but I'm cutting down on the amount of King Cole lines that I do stock. Show us yours. Oh, we've got a wreath. Um, yeah, I can't really make out what that is. Um, I've, ooh, they're pouches. Okay. And that's cute. We've got a king. Um, yeah, queen tea. Mm, not really. Post a picture on Facebook page. And that's how you get it in, I guess, maybe. Oh no, I'm not really into that. What does yarn weight mean? Well, I think, you know, teaching us to suck eggs again. But I suppose if you're new to it, and especially, this is what I find a bit weird. Now, I've been crocheting for a very long time. And all of a sudden, we're adopting lace weight instead of three ply or two ply. They're just kind of grouping them together and saying lace weight. So... Why do we adopt some Americanisms, but not all? You know, why do we do that? That's what I'm saying. Um, it gets confusing. I had somebody messaging me the other day saying that they had done a, a, a project by somebody and it didn't work out right. Hers was much shorter. Well, because she didn't know that a double crochet in the UK was a treble. It's, and she didn't know that a double crochet in the US was a single. So it was getting it all kind of a bit wrong. Because, you know, some of these times we, we're we now getting this grouping of lace weight. Well, to us, it's three ply, three ply, two ply. That's always been that way. Why confuse people? I don't get that. Anyway, never mind. Just me waffling on as usual. Next issue, Retro Home Collection, Granny Triangle Cardigan, Amy Female Footballer. Oh. Flower garden blanket, upcycle denim skirt, hopscotch rug, soft summer scarf, 
festival water hot water bottle oh no just water bottle holders um stylish bag baby rainbow blanket and more we've got an elephant made out of squares which looks pretty cool there's a bonus magazine um but it's crochet techniques masterclass um hopscotch rug a good idea for the kids um and crochet essentials all those bits you normally see at the back uh always there we've got the charts and the diagrams and oh cute but not in the magazine so just an advert that's a nice bag isn't it just saying made with the sheepies yarn there nice moody color of purple so let's have a little look then i'll save that for later and we'll have a look at crochet patterns and puzzles test your crochet knowledge and skills spot the different samigurumi word search word oku maze and more crochet crossword all new patterns okay so we've got some puzzles over this page here to do and we've got kind of makes that look like puzzles that's actually quite sweet isn't it we've got the black the, the cardigan <laughs> call it a blanket i'm really sad this goes from a small medium large and extra large and it's got like puzzle pieces just to let you know actually that hobby rocks does sell puzzles um was jigs and falcon i had lots of nice ones uh we've got crochet fun so you're going to be filling in um your answers on these and they'll be crochet related that's cool and we've got the um spot the difference and again we're looking for well these are all colors and this is the amigurumi so you can make different so that people got to spot the differences i mean obviously there are differences and yarn shopping that one i like this word oku so i've not actually played a word oku don't think i know how fill every row column and three by three region with each letter given exactly once huh okay i'll have to work that out crochet companion oh look that's a sheep <laughs> lots of puzzles and oh my word we've got the blanket that is very spookily on the same lines as my new i won't say crochet along but my new blanket making these larger squares that's actually pretty sweet isn't it so if you have someone in your family that really loves a crossword great little blanket for them that's a cool idea and there we've got cushion it's quite sweet and then we've got a real crossword puzzle. And perfect for other projects, we've got the alphabet-ish um, chart-wise. Not all of them, sadly. But you could always make a few more. And there we've got the answers, I think. Which, you know, is sad when you've got the answers. Because you can always go and have a little look here if you, if you can't figure it out. So what do you think? Do you like it? I actually really like the puzzle book. I do like it when they give you stuff. Um, like this sort of thing. I only ever use the stitch markers in the gifts that they give me. The rest I give away when people order from hobby, hobbyrocks.co.uk. So this will be probably in somebody's order. So what do you think? Um, you like it? What would you like about it? What would you make? Um, what don't you like? And I'll, uh, I'll have a good read of your comments. I always read all my comments. So thank you for watching. Stay safe, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.